Hallelujah. Carmen? All right. Well, praise God. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Suzanne Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings yes. Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our church family. We want to welcome all those visitors joining us by yes. audio and video. Amen. Yes. So, once again, we ask you to prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. What are you bringing to the table? Are you hungry for the Word of God? Yes. Are you hungry for Him? Mm -hmm. Amen. We got to stay hungry for Him. We got to yes. stay stirred up for Him. Amen. Amen. I was going to read you this, and I'm glad those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, but this came up, so I'm going to read it to you. Amen. This yeah. is from, uh, I'm reading off of uh, my cell phone here, but it says, We need preachers who preach uh, that hell is still hot and heaven is still real. Yeah. The sin is still wrong, and the Bible is the Word of God, and yes, that Jesus yes. is the only way of salvation. Yes. Amen. So, I just want to let you know that because we brought too much entertainment into the church. All right, Amen. Now, if we're the church, we need to come and encourage one another. We need to come and be empowered by the word of God. Amen. We need to be empowered, not entertained. Amen. We don't come to be entertained. If you're looking for that, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go somewhere else where you, you know, your flesh will be satisfied. But, you know, sometimes... This is what God does. Sometimes he woman blesses you. Sometimes he encourages you. Sometimes he changes you. And sometimes he needs to correct us. And we are the church. Amen. You didn't come to New Beginnings Church here. We came to New Beginnings Church building. This is where we assemble ourselves together. This is where we come together. Amen. And encourage one another. And be empowered with the word. Of course, you have time, personal time with him. Where you stir yourself up and, and empower yourself with the word of God and spend time with him. Amen? Amen. But when you come here, church, you the church, when we leave this place, you go somewhere and God is using you wherever you go. I can't be where you are, but God is using you. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see or read. So be careful of your words and your actions. Amen? Amen. So be be careful. The church goes out. The church doesn't stay here. The building stays here. But we go out. We're the church. We are the body of Christ. We need to get this right because we think that this is the church and this is the holy place. This is the temple of God. Our bodies, the Bible says, it is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And wherever we go, church, that's you. You're bringing the good news. Wherever you, Hopefully you're bringing the good news. If you're not following the word, you can't bring good news. You know, you're just repeating what the word is saying, what the world is saying, and they're full of negative stuff. So let's not go there. Amen. Let's not go there. Let's be what God wants us to be. We are the body of Christ. We're the church. And we go out bringing out the good news. He told his disciples, go. He says, go into all the world and preach the gospel. So that means every one of us. Every one of you has a calling. Don't exclude yourself. I said, well, I'm not good enough. All our Bible heroes try to exclude themselves, but God used them. Yes, he did. Amen. So he wants to use you. You just got to decide, you know, it's time to serve God. It's yes. time to say, hey, I got to get off my Komosayama, and I got to get busy for God. It's time to say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I've done wrong. So what I want to do is <laughs> I want to confess you as my Lord and yes, Savior. Yes, And when you do that, then he says, let's get busy. Let's uh -huh. press on. He says, press on, press on, press on for, with the things of God. Amen. Yes. And uh, today we, we're going to continue with uh, our God is bigger. Yes, he is. What is he bigger than? He's bigger than anything. Yes. Amen. And uh, a, a couple of things I, I'm going to be reading here in a few minutes. Uh -huh. Amen. But before we get uh, going any further, Grab your sword, grab your Bible, soldier of God, amen. Say it like you mean it. Yeah. It's not just something that we just say, amen. Yeah. Listen to what we're saying, amen. Yes. But this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. We need to make this declaration on a daily basis, amen. Because you are the Bible. You are the good news, amen? amen. And you go and you do it for him, amen? Yes. And serve him, you know? If you're serving him, you don't go out with sad news. You go out with 
good news. All right, Amen. Man. And when he tells you to do something, you do it. Even if you just say hi to somebody. He said, oh. tell them I love them. Yes. God loves you. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Don't go saying, well, I'm not good enough for this. Huh. Yes, you are. Amen. Yes. Listen, I'm going to read you a couple of good nuggets that I have before we get into what we're going to do here. Mm -hmm. But it says, get stirred up. When you feel empty and you feel like you don't have what God has called you to do, the word of God gives us clear command on how to handle the situation in your life. Yes. Stir up the gift inside of you. He's placed gifts in you. Yes. Amen. But we need to stir them up. They're in there. You know when you get a good stew going? <laughs> You got to stir up all that you put in there. Yes. And when you stir them all together, it's yes. going to taste real good. Amen. Says, Everything you ever needed to accomplish what God has called you to do That's is right. placed inside, inside of, you. of you. It's inside of you. Remember, church, you're a spirit man. Yes. You have a, a soul, which is your mind, your will, and, and your, your emotions. emotions. Uh -huh. And you have a flesh. You have a body. Yeah. So your, your spirit, you feed, feed the word of God. Wow. You need the word of God. Yes. There's a spiritual battle. You can't defeat a spirit. You can't defeat the devil on uh, flesh. Mm -hmm. You need the word of God. Yes, Amen. Spirit man, feed it the word. Your mind, your will, your emotions. The yes. battlefield is your mind. Yes, it is. Amen. What do I do? I renew it yes. with the word of God because it's a negative world. Mm -hmm. And the negative world, distractions and things is going to pull you down. Enemy is yes. going to use people. Yeah. To bring you down. Yes, he will. He don't want you serving God. That's Amen. It. That's so we need it. to renew our mind to what the Word of God says. Amen. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're going to be preaching the world. <laughs> you're going to be preaching negative stuff, you know. Yes. But everything's been placed inside of you. But only <clears throat> you can stir up Jesus. Only you can stir it up. Yeah. It says, Jesus, love, faith, power is inside of you. Yes, it is. So I stir up that gift. Yes. That is in me. Uh -huh. I am not going to wait until I feel stirred up. I am stepping out in faith. Yes. Because I can do all things through all Christ things. who strengthens me. That's it. Amen. You got to stir yourself up. Uh -huh. You know, you're waiting for somebody to tell you something. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, if you're not in the spirit, you're in the flesh. And somebody yeah. tell you something and you're going to get right with them. And you're going to go head to head. Mm -hmm. And that's not going to work. Two wrongs don't that's make it. a right. That's it. Amen. So you got to be in the spirit. Yes, you do. And you know, you got protection on. You got God with you. Yes. And it's just going to flow from you. Amen. I, I let it go. I release it. I'm not going yes. there. My choice is to serve Him yes. and to be Christ like. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Well, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have one more, one more, one more. I mean, I have a whole bunch. You can just go to. I've got one more nugget I want to read to you. And it just. It goes with the lesson we're doing right now. Amen. But it goes. Uh, come on. I just had it. So you're a winner. Always pray. Good things. Here we go. It says this. Magnify him. Magnify him, not the problem. Your mind wanders, ponders, reasons, and, and wrestles over minor matters that don't really matter. Uh, spend your time thinking and magnifying God and his love for you. And your problem, your emotion, your situations will change when you take your mind off of them and put your mind on the Prince of Peace. The more you magnify God, the smaller your problems will become. Here you go right here. Amen. You can write this down and, and, and put it where you can see it on a daily basis. Magnify your, don't magnify your problem, magnify your God. The bigger you magnify God, the smaller your problem is going to become. Amen. Amen. We got one to, we, we want God to change things, give us things, bless us and all these things, but we keep confessing the wrong things. Remember power, death, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power and in, in the words you speak. Yes. So we got to magnify God and not the problem. Amen. Yes. Ooh, man, we can we can say amen and uh, yeah. and say we've already had church, you know. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's that. And we're going to continue.
God has a plan for you. You know, we're always wanting to feel lonely. We always want to feel like God blesses everybody else but me. Oh. We keep putting ourselves there. We don't want to do that because the enemy is going to keep you there. Yeah. And if you're thinking this way, that means you're not renewing your mind. That's it. That means you're being negative and you're feeling sorry for yourself. You don't have to feel sorry for yourself. Know that God loves you. God has a plan for you and a purpose to fulfill our destiny. Stay focused and feel, fulfill the plan God has for you. Wake up each day knowing that you are headed in the right direction. Right. What direction you choose is up to you. Yeah. Amen. But yes, hopefully so you're listening to him so that you can follow his direction. Yes. He's guiding us. Amen. Amen. Which direction you're uh, taking and what you're uh, going to accomplish and stick with it. Don't allow the distractions and busyness of life get you off course. Oh, this happens yeah. all the time. Yeah. Amen. Hmm. He's going to get you off course. Why? Because you're listening to the wrong things. Yeah. And if you're not listening to somebody, you're listening to things going on in your mind because hmm. the thoughts are there. And you're listening, then you're meditating on the wrong things. Mm -hmm. And you got to be able to say, hey, give yourself a spiritual bath. Yes. Give your mind a renewing each and every time you get a chance because you, there's going to be distractions. Yeah. And what are you going to follow? Are you going to follow what God has wants you to do or what you want to do? Yeah. Amen. Woo, ask yourself, is what I'm doing moving me towards God? Uh -huh. Yeah. A given, my given destiny. Mm -hmm. Is this my purpose in life? Or am I just wasting time being busy oh, or not really making any progress? Don't look to the left and don't look to the right. Mm -hmm. Don't be distracted and spend your time and energy on things that are not helping you fulfill your destiny. That's it. Amen. And we can we can do this. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. That's why it's so important to know the word. It says the, the, the truth. The word is the truth. And yeah. the truth is going to set you free from yes. all the mindsets. From all the things, all the distractions, and all these other things. Remember, God's plan, God's plans are blessed. Uh -huh. And as you walk in His plan for your life, you will experience abundance in everything you see it in your hand to do. Amen. You, I can do all things through Christ. Amen. He wants to bless you. Amen. But we got to make ourselves available. Be available for Him. Yes. If we're not making ourselves available, you're making yourself available to something else. Yeah. And then something else happens to be the enemy. All right, now. And the enemy comes to do one, two, well, three things. Steal, kill, yeah, and destroy you. That's what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. That's his mission for you. Mm -hmm. I don't care. You might be entertaining the flesh for a little bit, but guess what? He wants to kill, steal, and yes, destroy. That's it. Jesus says, I come that you might have life, life. and have yes. life more abundantly. Amen. But you got to be on him. And you got to yeah. stay with him. Amen. Yes, you do. That was, just some, that was just some uh, nuggets on the side here. <laughs> Amen. Here we go. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us. Yes. Okay, you can scratch let us and just uh -huh. say, and Jose, exalt his name together. Exalt his name. Exalt his name. Yeah. Amen. Magnify his name. Mm -hmm. He wants us to magnify. So God is bigger. Yes, he is. He's bigger than what? Any. Uh, size of your anything yeah the size of your mountain the size of your storm the size of your cares the size of your problems we all have these things but what are you magnifying more yeah the problem mm -hmm. the care the storm yeah or are you magnifying him yeah he's more he's more he's stronger and bigger than all these things doesn't listen let me read it the way I wrote it the size of your mountain, storm, yeah. care, or problem doesn't compare to the size of your God. Oh. We got to get this. We got it backwards. We got to put it by God first. Yes. Amen. Magnify God, not the problem. He's the God on the mountain. He's the God on the valley. Yes. Church, he'll never leave you. He'll forsake you. That's it. That's Wherever you happen it. to be, where you happen to be up high or you happen to be down low. Mm -hmm. He didn't put you low, but if you went low, uh -huh. he's still with you. Yes, he I'm is. here. You know, it's time to stir up and get yourself back up. Yeah. And then don't wait for somebody else to do it. You That's get it. yourself stirred up. Say, wait That's a minute. It. Let me renew my mind. Let me let me let me renew and find out what the word of God says. Yes. I'm gonna stir it up and I'm gonna get up high where I could be flowing with eagles, as the Bible says, yes. and not scratching so with the chickens, you know, or scratch or, or, or waddling with the what do you call it? Uh, pigs. <laughs> in, in the mud with the pigs. Right. Amen. So 
Draw close to him. Stay focused in him. Listen to what focus says. Focus is to be faithful, to be committed, to be dedicated, to be devoted, to be uh, 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 enthusiastic, and serve him with joy. There's no, no sadness in serving God. Amen. There should be no sadness in serving him. That's it. You know, if you if you feel sadness for serving him, mm -hmm. that means you got to renew your mind because yes. you're still holding on to the world. Yes, you yes. can't serve two. You can't serve both. You got to let go of one. You, you let go of God, or, or you let go uh, 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 of the world. Yeah. But you, you can't have both. He says, yes, "I'd rather you be look, uh, hot or cold, but not lukewarm. You can't have. You can't dance with both. <laughs> you got to serve one. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if you're going to serve God." I'm going to enjoy myself. Mm -hmm. It says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Your strength. You need some strength? Well, serve him joyfully. Amen. Right. <laughs> you know, when you witness for him, somebody's going to receive you better if you're joyful than if you're sad. That's it. God loves you. Mm -hmm. Are you really? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, some, of, some of the scripture I want to give you, just write these down. Mm -hmm. Psalms 34 and 3 says, King James says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and yes. let us exalt his name together. Yes. Then we come ourselves together. We come together and we, you know, magnify his name. Yes. Exalt his name together. Yes. Mark 11, 23 and 24. Let me read it to you from the contemporary English version. Mm. It says, if you have faith in God and don't doubt, mm -hmm. you can tell this mountain whatever problem you have. Get up and jump into the sea and it yes. will. It says, everything you ask for in prayer mm. will be yours. If you only have faith. And the Bible says the just shall walk by faith. faith. So you know what? When you feel yourself, this is your choice. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to stay filled with something, I'd rather stay filled with the word of God mm -hmm. than stay filled with the word, with, with yes. the world. Because if you're filled with the world, well, you're on the flesh side. And you're on the losing side. <laughs> I want to stay filled with the word of God and build my faith. And if I'm going to get to stepping for God, I'm going to step out in faith, knowing that he's with me, knowing that he never leaves me, nor forsakes me. And if I need something, he's right there. And if I need something, I know that I, the word is in me, and I'm going to figure it out. Amen? So let's remember these things, because we can lose it. Amen? We let go of one partner and let go of the other one. You yeah. grab one to the other. Yeah. We can't do that. Mm -hmm. Keep going, Carmen. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. Keep going. Praise Keep going. God. Here we go. <laughs> Those of you that are viewing, you okay. can see this. Those of you that are listening, listen to this. It says, God wants full custody of what? His children. His children. <clears throat> listen, when you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're His child now. And he's your heavenly father. Yeah. Don't go around calling yourself a sinner. Don't go ca going around calling yourself anything less than a child of God. That's it. Amen. That's it. If you do, that means you don't have an understanding of the That's word it. of God. That's but you're a child of God. He says, God wants full custody of his children. His children. Okay? He said, not just weekend visitors. Mm. Not just weekend <laughs> visits, okay? He All wants right. full custody. So <laughs> then all the time not just part-time right remember a part-time christian is no match to a full-time yes, devil yes. he'll yes. eat you up in a heartbeat mm. we're no yes, match yes. we're fighting a spiritual battle yes we are and you try to fight it with the flesh you ain't no match yes, for the yes, enemy for sure. yeah. we need to realize this church we're fighting a spiritual battle yeah we need the word of god we need yes. god on our side Amen. well we need to be on his side yeah if we're not we lose already mm -hmm. we're lost we don't know what to do we're confused you know, but God wants full custody of His children, not just weekend visits. You know, hey, if that fits, take it. <laughs> Amen. Oh, we all need to uh, improve on this. We need, we all of us need to improve on this. Amen. All of us, including myself. So praise God. Woo. Thank you, Carmen. <laughs> you still love pastor. <laughs> Here's another thing: is James four seven. Just a quick review here. But James 4, 7 says, Submit therefore, therefore submit to God, resist the devil, he will do what? Flee. He'll flee from you. He'll flee from you. But you have to do something. Yeah. You have to do something the word of God said. Yes. He says, I give you authority. Uh -huh. 
So if you're going to have authority, you're going to have to use it. Yeah. That means you're going to have to speak the word. Yeah. But you got to have some word to That's speak it. the word. That's it. If there ain't no word in there, they're going to come out. That's it. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have the word in you for you to have, for you to resist the enemy. And here's the thing. <laughs> you can't trick the enemy. Amen. Your words, your actions are giving you away. And you've already opened the door for the enemy. Mm -hmm. If you're just going around trying to trick the enemy, you're, you're defeated. Yeah. Amen. And you're letting a defeated foe, the devil, defeat you. Yeah. A full-time Christian. If you're a full-time Christian, All right, you man. wouldn't do that. Don't let the enemy have control. That's it. Don't let the enemy have authority over you. Amen. You're giving it to him, you know. You're just surrendering yourself. Jesus, when God sacrificed his son for us to have these things, and now we're just giving it away. Hmm. Your choice is to follow him full yes. time. Amen. Amen. So therefore submit to God, resist the devil, he will yes. flee Amen. from you. So you don't want him around anymore. Hmm. So quit entertaining him. <laughs> quit speaking the wrong things. Because he's gonna hang out as long as, as you're doing these things. If you want him to be gone, start speaking what the word of God says. And he says he'll flee from you. Flee means to run away from you. Yeah. It yeah. isn't to say walk away, or maybe mm -hmm. he says kill. Yeah. He'll flee from you. Yes. means get going yeah but it also says in verse 8 says draw near to god and he'll draw near you, you. god never leaves you nor forsakes you that's he's it. always there if anybody walks away we do the walking we do the stepping out say hey you know what everything is going smooth now so i'm just gonna cruise on doing i don't need you right now like the prodigal son we're just gonna walk away and guess what you're doing you're walking away from his protection that's it we choose to walk away from his protection and guess what the enemy's going to do? No, honey, He's going to have you in a heartbeat. <laughs> Steal, kill, destroy. Amen. Out. That's it. Yeah. Oh, man. And here we come back to him, you know, and say, hey, you should have never left. But we did. But he knows the way we are. Yes. Draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. Yes. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, uh -huh. and purify your hearts, you double-minded. The Amplified says it like this. So submit to the authority of God. Uh-huh. Resist the devil, stand firm against him, and he yes. will flee from you. Come close to God with a contrite heart, repentant heart, remorseful, uh, sorry, and he will cl uh, come close to you. Yes. Wash your hands, you sinners, and uh -huh. purify your unfaithful hearts, oh, you double-minded people. Oh, my goodness. We can't be double-minded. We That's got to it. know who we serve on a daily basis. When you get up, it says, seek you first, the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Seek him first. Yes. Let's not be pretenders. Let's be for That's real. It. Amen. He wants full custody. Yes, not does. just uh, weekend visits. That's you know, right. just because you come sit in here for uh, a, a few hours doesn't make you a Christian. You know, doesn't give you full protection. You know, you got to be full time. Yes. You got to be for real because the enemy is for real. Yeah. And you know what? If you're trying to trick him, he ain't going anywhere. That's it. He's still there. If you want to check, you can see him. He's right there. <laughs> Remember the cartoon with the devil and the little <laughs> angel? Uh -huh. yeah. You can't have both. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah. Let me see your hand. No stones have passed in there. <laughs> First Peter 5, 7 and 8 says what? Cast all cares upon him uh -huh. because he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the yes. enemy, your foe, your rival, your yes. challenger, your opponent, the oh, devil. Right. Walks it out like a like a roaring lion, seeking, mm -hmm. pursuing, oh, and hunt for, and looking for, in search yes. of whom he may devour. Yes. That's what he wants to do. Yes. He wants to devour you. He wants you to stop serving God. Yeah. He don't want you to serve God. That's it. <clears throat> Amen. So we need to be strong enough to say, I'm going to serve my God. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to serve my God. Mm -hmm. He's seeking who he may devour. Mm -hmm. He wants to consume you. Demolish you, mm -hmm. go, go, mm -hmm. go, 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 puppy. Yeah. <laughs> he don't want to give up until yeah. you resist him, mm -hmm. and he's not going anywhere until you That's resist it. him. So yeah. I can't do it for you. You got to do it for yourself. Yes. Amen. You got to do it for yourself. You gotta, you gotta take full custody and uh -huh. say, Lord, uh, I want full custody uh, protection. And he's giving you full time protection, but you have to be there. Amen. So praise God. Second Timothy one and seven says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. 
What has he given us? He's given us power. Yes. This is authority. <clears throat> Amen. Don't be a defeated Christian. Mm -hmm. You know what a defeated Christian is? Mm -hmm. You're not taking authority. That's it. What, what, what God has given you. Yeah. When you take authority, you're going to walk in his power yes. and his love and of a sound mind. Right. Amen. I said, mind, line up with the word of God. We're going to line up with the word of God yes. and we're going to get to stepping for God. Because that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to Amen. step out. Amen. So praise God. Woo. Just a few things. A few reminders here. <laughs> All right. So I mean, many Christians uh, will tell you they love God. They want to get close to God. They want to come to church. Mm. And they want to change. Mm. But only few succeed. Yeah. Don't be one of them. Mm. Amen. Quit using excuses. All right. Put some feet to your faith and press on with Jesus. Yeah. Amen. I don't know if I should say this. <laughs> God loves you. He wants to. Uh, he loves those that draw close to, to Him. Yes. Amen. So draw close to Him on, on a daily basis, not just yeah. once in a while. Thank you, Lord. Draw close to God. How do I? How do I do this? Mm -hmm. When you draw close to God by fellowshipping mm -hmm. with Him, spending time with Him, that's yes. what He wants to do. He's knocking, and He wants to be there for you, mm -hmm. but we're not there. Yeah. He's calling you, but we're not answering the phone. Amen. He's sending you messages, uh, calls. He's sending you all kinds of things. And he's knocking. We're not letting him in. Don't be a weak, defeated Christian. The less you spend time with him, the less you spend time in the word, the weaker yeah. you'll be. And when you're not walking in fear, I mean walking in faith, you're walking in fear. That's it. Because the, the word is gone. And now you're stepping out in fear. All of a sudden, you see yourself stepping out in fear. You got to remember, you, you got to remind yourself. I know what the problem is. Mm. I didn't spend time with him at this mm. morning. I didn't spend time with him when I should. Yeah. I, didn't, I, 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 didn't, I didn't seek him like I should. Mm -hmm. I got to build myself up. Keep yourself up and up. Keep yourself yes. plugged to the, to, to, to the source. Yes. That's your power source. That's it. If not... You're down. Yeah. Spend time in prayer. That'll give you strength. Spend time in praise and worship. And yes. Cast troubles on Him, and He'll yes. help you. Thank you and reading, studying, and meditating on the Word. Mm -hmm. You know, reading the Word doesn't mean you go from cover to cover, mm -hmm. and you didn't pick up anything. Mm. Yeah. Studying the Word, maybe a scripture, oh. maybe a chapter, huh. but you study it and you uh -huh. meditate on what you read. That's it. That's Amen. It. Let the Word. Of, let the word come in you and stir you up and become alive in you. Yes. Amen. I say, wow, I remember that. Uh -huh. Now I know this. And the enemy is starting to pull away. He's going. He's not pulling. Well, he's, he's pulling. He's going. And encouragement. Stay encouraged and encourage others. Yes. This is yes. not just about you. That's it. Amen. This is oh, not just yeah. about you. This is about, hey, I want to share this good news. Yes. I want to share it with other people. Because other yes. people are in bondage. Other people are in sin. Mm -hmm. And God's using you, the church, his body, to go yes. out and deliver people. Yes. He says, be ministers of reconciliation. That's it. Bringing the, 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 the good news to those that are lost. Yes. Hey, you know what? I used to be there. I used to do those things. But not anymore. God helped me. And God is, wants to help you. Yes, he does. Amen. But you got to be open and you got to be willing to change. Mm -hmm. Amen. But if you're not doing it and seeking him and being in the spirit, your flesh is going to pull you down. <laughs> can't, can't, can't fight a spiritual battle in the flesh. That's it. Amen. So let God be your role model. Pray. Jesus prayed. So can we. Well, yeah. if you don't want to pray around people around you, don't be ashamed. He said, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Mm -hmm. You know, wherever I work, I'm pastor. But wherever I work, I hear people being negative. I hear people be cussing all around me. Mm. So why can't I pray? If they can cuss around me, why can't yeah. I pray around them? Exactly. And then, if they say, you know, hey, pray, 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 uh, offends me. Well, you know what? Your cussing offends me. Yeah. So you stop your cussing, you know? Mm. Amen. This is for all of us. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Jesus prays, so can we. 
He taught his, his followers to pray. We yes, need to pray, did. you know. Ministers of reconciliation. Yes. Bringing them good news to a lost world. Yes. Being his ambassadors. And you know what an ambassador is? His mouthpiece, wherever mm -hmm. you go. Mm -hmm. The Bible, wherever you happen to be. Setting yeah. people free. Yes. Isn't it amazing? I, little old me, uh -huh. bringing the good news to the Bible, of, of, yeah. of the Word of God to people, yes. and sharing the good news with them, yeah. and people are set free from bondages, uh -huh. are set free from sin. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I'm doing this under you. When you do it at a young, you know, it's not about me. Uh, how many I got saved? I can't save nobody. That's it. <laughs> it's the Word of God. Sure. It's Jesus is done. He's mm -hmm. our salvation. Amen. And we just want to share with them before he returns. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Apostles gave themselves to prayer. So can we. Yeah. Well, you know, that was back then, you know. No, now, this is for now. Yeah. Uh, the, the word of God is never outdated. That's it. You know, the, the you know, if you go to a place where they say, Well, this is the new thing, you know, <laughs> then you better leave That's and go somewhere else. You know, because <laughs> it's the Bible, the Bible is the new thing. Yeah. There's nothing old about That's the Word it. of God. Amen. It. it is for the now. Yes. So praise God. Praise Acts 6 God. and 4 says, And then the apostles, they spend time in prayer and teaching the Word. So can we. The New King James says, But uh, we, the apostles, we give ourselves continually to prayer and to be ministered of the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Drawing ourselves together always. To the things of God, magnifying Him, mm -hmm. staying focused on Him. Yes. You know, if you're not staying focused on Him, you're going to find something to be focused on. And it ain't going to be the things of God. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the wrong things. Amen? Yeah. So you got to be careful. Amen. There's great things needed for the church, the body of Christ. Uh -huh. We need to draw close to Him. Yes. And we need ministers mm -hmm. we need people we need ministers of reconciliation yes. that are going to bring the good news yes, to yes. people that need the word of god yes thank you to set them free is the word of god that's going to set them free mm -hmm. it's not about me it's about them i'm just the vessel god is using mm -hmm. you know i tell you this all the time you know <laughs> i'm just the vessel god is bringing this message to you mm -hmm. if you just judge of me you're not going to grab anything. That's it. Come on Amen. Now. It's not about me. Mm -mm. I'm not trying to puff myself up. Mm -mm. I'm just being a messenger of God, bringing yes. the word to you. When Amen. you receive God's word, when you receive him and receive God's word, uh -huh. I'm open, you know, for whatever God has yes. or whoever he's using. So yes. I've shared this with you before. When you go into a meeting, you're going somewhere, somebody's speaking, I say, Lord, bless him. Yeah. Enemy. I resist the enemy. I resist you, devil. Just leave them. I want them to speak what God has yes. for me. Amen. Amen. And he's got something for me. But the enemy is going to see to it that you just focus on the flesh. Yeah. You just focus on the man, mm -hmm. on the person, right. and not what's being said. That's and you're going to miss the whole thing. And you didn't, did you get anything? Nah, you know. Yeah. It was just. <laughs> Brother so and so, or, or <laughs> it was just Joe up there, you know. Oh, no, no, uh -uh. you didn't get anything. And God was there, and you never saw him. That's Mary right. and Martha <laughs> was ministering. One of them was ministering to the people. One yes. of them was ministering to her God. Mm -hmm. Mary, um, Mary chose this. This is a master. This is the Lord. I'm going to minister to Him. Mm -hmm. Martha was busy, 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 busy doing all these things, <laughs> and we can stay busy for the world. And it'll just kill you. Yeah. Amen. Let's not be too busy for God. Amen. That's it. You know, Amen. your priorities can change. Yes. Yes, I have priorities at my job. Yes, I have priorities wherever I go. Mm -hmm. But first, I'm going to seek Him first. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then, I'm going to magnify Him. Mm -hmm. And all these things are going to line up. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Our Heavenly Father desires close relationship with His children. We just talked to you about that. Mm -hmm. He wants full custody of His children, not just weekend visits. Yeah. All the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I was going to tell you a few minutes ago, uh, as pastor, I don't have excuses not to be in church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make excuses because I got to be here. <laughs> and I got to bring a message, you know. So mm -hmm. I can't say, I can't come to church today. Why? I just didn't want to. 
You know, some of you might say that, you know, but we missed you, but you chose not to come for whatever reason. But I can't use that because I love my God. And he wants to use me to deliver. You know, if there's two people here, or if it's just me, I'm going to yeah. preach. I'm going to preach. Like I have full house. There's been just two. It's, it, it, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not moved by the size of, of, of the congregation. I'm moved by. Amen. I, I'm moved by the size of my God and how much Amen. I care for Him, how much Amen. He cares Praise for God. Me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. We got to get this right. Amen. Yes. He sacrificed his only son. Bible yes. says John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. Yes. He sacrificed yes. his only son. Amen. And Jesus came knowing that he was going to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. And he fulfilled what the father sent him to do. Yes. Now father is sending his children to mm -hmm. go and do the same thing. That's Jesus. Preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we failed him all the time. Because we're too busy. You don't know. You don't know how, how hard I worked. Yeah. You don't know, Pastor. I work hard all week. And the weekends, I just take time to recoup. Will you tell, ask Patricia what I was doing last night about 8.30 at night? Oh, gosh. We've been doing a roof at the house. Oh, Jesus. And I came off the roof. And I showered and got right into the Word of God. Oh, gosh. Amen. So I, just, I called the church, let them know we're not we're not having church today. You know, I'm tired. That's a sad excuse. Amen. Jesus was sacrificed. And when he was at the cross, still he told the Father, uh, forgive him. Amen. And the plan of salvation was was there. Amen. So praise God. So when we draw near to God, what good things happen? Israel received Ten Commandments and the Law of God. Abraham was blessed. Isaac was born <laughs> Well, he was, what, 100? Sarah was, what, close to it? And yet they had a son named Isaac. <laughs> amen? So he said the impossible things. He's still in the miracle business, amen? Isaac was born. He became father of many nations. He received a promise from God that through him all nations would be blessed. Jacob got a new name. Jacob wrestled with God. He said, I'm not letting you go until you bless me. <laughs> and he, he changed his name from Jacob to Israel. Israel means a man who wrestles with God. <laughs> Amen. Read the story. It's good. <laughs> Genesis uh, 32 and 28, the message Bible says, And the man said, But no longer. Your name is no longer Jacob. From now on, it's Israel. God wrestling. You have wrestled with God. And you have come through. Amen. What about Daniel? New things. Daniel <laughs> was near to God. And he received deliverance from those hungry lions. <laughs> Amen. I'm glad we talked about this last week. He, he shut those lions' mouth. Are you there? Or you feel the bellies? We say, well, you ain't going to touch my servant. God says this about you. Then you ain't going to touch my servant. When we're serving him, God's protecting you. Says, uh -uh, nobody can have you. He's mine. She's mine. Moses received directions for service. Moses tried to exclude himself. Says, I can't talk. So he sent his brother <laughs> to talk, but still gave him direction in what to do. He chose one man to build an ark. He chose one man to lead his uh, his nation out of uh, Egypt, yes. Israel. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So David received forgiveness for his sin after drawing near to God in repentance. Uh -huh. And God still says, you still and says, he's a man after my heart. Mm -hmm. You be like that. A man or woman after God's heart. Yes. Amen. Remember, Thank you, Lord. when you see yourself as nobody, mm -hmm. think about little David, a mm -hmm. little shepherd boy. You know why they didn't be a shepherd? Because <laughs> that's something, maybe that's, they just wanted to get rid of him. Say, well, you go do this, you know. You just be a shepherd, you know, be a nobody. But you know what? He applied himself to God and yes, he seeked yes. God. And God delivered him from yes. the bear and the lion. Uh -huh. And God delivered him from the lion. Yeah. Amen. And not only that, you see yourself as nobody. 
uh -huh. a little shepherd boy, and became king of Israel. Yeah. Just think the things that you can do for God mm -hmm. as you give yourself to God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It's not about how big or how, mm -hmm. how small. You know, people will just don't allow people to put you down. Don't allow people to take you out from yeah. your joy and your peace That's of it. serving Him. Yeah. Amen. You stay yourself full mm -hmm. and you say, Wow, is that all you do for God? Just go around talking to people and people trust you and hate you and all these things. Saying, that's what I do. Yeah. I serve my God. And I'm in love with doing what I do for God. Yeah. Amen. Big or small, it doesn't matter. The size doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing it under Him. And I'm going to serve Him and have enjoy myself doing what I do for Him. Woo! You're in the church during the end of the so, Lord. They receive the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, the Holy Spirit baptism. He says, go and wait in the upper room. Mm. How many people do you think was there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, maybe. It started out with 500. It started out with 500. <laughs> ended up with how many? 100. 120. Or so. yeah. <laughs> what, what happened to the other ones? Mm -hmm. You know they couldn't wait? No, they couldn't. You ever follow the traffic? The people get road rage oh, my and they won't, don't want to follow you because oh, you're too slow things, uh -huh. or you're going this way you're going the other way yes. and people are so impatient everything is just so fast focused now uh. instant yeah mm -mm -mm. so a lot of people walked away from receiving the holy spirit the baptism yes. of the holy spirit yes and they didn't get it because they were so impatient they walked yeah. away yeah a powerful ministry yeah. Gives of ministry. When the church today draws near to God, He too will, you too will receive the yeah. blessings from Him. Amen. He's not keeping it from us. We're keeping ourselves from Him. We need to be uh, patient. We need to uh, be there for Him and let Him come and bless us. Amen. Yes. But we don't walk away from Him. Some of us are like like uh, Peter. How many of you remember Peter? Yeah. <laughs> we want to serve God. From a distance mm -hmm. you know we talked about serving two masters mm -hmm. well peter you know he, he wanted to hold, hold on to the world but he wanted to hold on to jesus mm -hmm. one minute he wants to fight for jesus next thing you know jesus says before the cock crows you'll mm -hmm. deny me three times mm -hmm. and he did yeah but god still used him he didn't release, he didn't release him he, he, he spoke at pentecost yes. he three three thousand people souls saved for god mm -hmm. Amen. So, Amen. you know, whatever you've done, don't let people or you keep yourself from serving God. Amen. Confess your sin. Amen. I don't know. Somebody, you need this. Whatever you've done, let it go. It's in the past. Mm -hmm. Confess it. Confess him as Lord and Savior. Receive him as Lord and Savior. And he still wants to use you. You know what he'll say? He says, press on. Yeah. Amen. I've got I put everything in you. I put the call. I put, equipped you to fulfill what I've called you to do. He hasn't taken that from you. Amen. We excluded ourselves. We let the world and people it, try to exclude us. You know, keep us out. Yeah. But he's, it's not because of him. It's because of us. Yeah. It's because of your choice. Yes. Don't choose what the world wants for you. Mm -hmm. Choose what God has for you. Amen. Amen. You can write that down. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Christians, believers should regularly take an intimacy inventory on a daily basis. Amen. Am I doing this under you, Lord? If this blessing, is, is this going to, you know, be a blessing? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm, praise God. Ooh, praise God. Revive yourself. You know, revival only comes when you draw close to God. Mm -hmm. And what's revival? A restoration. Mm -hmm. An act of reviving. Mm -hmm. But we need to do that on a daily basis. Amen? Yes. Revive ourselves. Draw near to God. Thank you. Amen? So praise God. Go back. Girl. Here's some of the scriptures that we read. I like this one. It says, go back. Yeah, resist the devil at every turn and draw close to God. Yes. Humble yourself before God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. from you. Come close to God, and he will come close to you. Yeah. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, 
for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Mm -hmm. This translation, sometimes we gotta use a translation that we can understand. Yeah. Amen. But that's James 4, 7, and 8. Yeah. And we need to do that. So we'll close with that right there. Just remember James 4, 7, and 8. We just read it. Uh, Psalms 34 and 3. Magnify God. Magnify the Lord with me. Yes. And let us exalt his name together. Mm -hmm. Also, Mark 11, 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. If you have faith in God and don't doubt, you will call, uh, tell this mountain, get up and jump into the sea. Mm -hmm. And it will. Everything you ask for in prayer will be yours if you only have faith. Yeah. Yeah. Let us draw close to Christ that we may experience his love, his power, and his blessings. Amen. Yeah. Praise God, church. I hope you receive this. <laughs> we do. Amen. I hope you receive this. Praise God. Thank Praise you, Father, God. for your precious word. We receive it, Father, and help us, Lord, to apply it and apply ourselves to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank so, you, praise God. If you're watching, we won't close yet until you have an opportunity yes. to receive and make Jesus Lord in your life. Amen. Yes. If you never received Jesus as Lord, your, your Lord and Savior, now's the time. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life yes. and be my Lord and Savior. From this day on, I'm going to live for you. From this day on, I'm going to serve you. Yes. Amen. Start living for you. Start going to church. Place where they, uh, a bla uh, where, where they preach the word. Where they preach uh, the, the word of God. Amen. Teach the word of God. So let's remember this. Amen. Yes. And let's make this change for ourselves. Yes. It's going to bless us. It's going to help us. Praise God. If you're hurting in your body, any place in your body, mm -hmm. you know, he's not giving us a spirit of fear. He's not giving us a spirit of sickness. He says... By Jesus Christ, we are healed. healed. Amen. We are healed. So praise God. Let's remember this. He, that spirit of infirmity, we just cast that spirit of infirmity in Jesus' name. Yeah. Any malfunctions in your body are healed in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Touch them, Lord. From the crown of the head to the soles of their feet. Yes. And we thank you that they're healed right now. Just put your hand right there where it hurts. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. I receive my healing. I receive my healing right yeah. now in thank Jesus' you, name. Amen. Praise you, Praise Father. You. Amen. So, a time to give. If you're watching or listening and you'd like to give, yes. you can still do so. Go to our website. It's on the screen there, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. God bless you. God loves you. And we love you. Amen. Yeah. <coughs>